On behalf of Siri, I'd like to welcome you to the 2018 Annual Report. 2018 has been a really interesting year for us. We've continued to consolidate the business from a strategic perspective. We've had a strong financial result, which enables us to really look to the future, to the types of programs that we're going to deliver uh, in 2019 and beyond. And the board is really focused on building its own skill set. So we've had some rejuvenation. We've introduced a number of new board members who really complement the existing board members. I'd also like to pay tribute to Ian Cummings, who has over 20 years on our board and his experience he's going to be greatly missed but we wish him well in all his future the organization which has been expertly led by our ceo gus has continued to deliver a strong result for our communities and the people that engage with Sherry. and we're really looking forward to watching gus implement the board's strategic plan which was recently endorsed at the most recent board meeting 2018 has been both a very successful and exciting year, enabling us to expand our reach and to support more people and families within our communities. We were in a position to move our corporate services and training to Lilydale, providing much needed space for our Yarra Junction Community Hub and Mount Evelyn School Campus. We approved a new commercial hospitality kitchen to be built at our Yarra Junction site, Whilst this is still in its early stages, it will provide enormous opportunities for not only our students, but our community as a whole, a shared space for all. The purchase of 43 Little Yarra Road, right next door to our children's services and school site, will enable us to expand on what we currently do and enhance our services. Towards the end of 2018, we were invited by Yarra Rangers Council to manage Churnside Park Community Hub. This is not only an incredible opportunity, but one that we feel very privileged to have received. I was thrilled to be asked to speak about why I'm impressed with the work that Siri undertake. There's a number of reasons for this. Firstly, Siri know why they are in the businesses they are in. They know what to focus on. They know how they can make the biggest difference for the community. Secondly, they always strive to achieve excellence in what they do. And in what they do, they always try and do that in genuine partnership with the community, with other agencies and with council. Finally, I'm really impressed by Siri's ability to respond to emerging and changing community needs and put in place new activities that are in line with their core focus. Throughout 2018, Siri applied for grants to assist with offering services to the communities we serve and meeting the needs of people of all ages. We carefully consider the grants and funds we apply for to ensure they align with our values and philosophy of empowering people through flexible learning opportunities. We only submit applications that we know will benefit, support and engage our communities. We have a higher than average success rate, which is testament to our thorough approach to the applications and our credibility among funders. Our reputation as a strong not-for-profit, unique to the Yarra Rangers, is also reflected in the calibre of letters of support we receive for applications and also the partnerships we develop along the way. Each application involves a considerable investment of time and resources in order to maximise our chances of success. We include very specific evidence of need, drawn from our own research and what we witness and hear within our communities. This is in addition to data from government bodies such as the Australian Bureau of Statistics and also Yarra Rangers Council. Our submissions highlight the diverse needs in our area. It's so reassuring when funding bodies acknowledge what we do and are confident their money will be used to benefit the community. We take seriously the responsibility to equip grants and equally important to establish an ongoing relationship with funders by communicating progress and outcomes. Some of our grants have been for small amounts which have helped innovative projects get off the ground. Other larger grant amounts have, for example, enabled us to deliver programs to vulnerable clients at low or no cost to them. I'd like to acknowledge our manager partnerships and funding, Sandra Book of Arts, and other Siri staff across the whole organisation who have done a fantastic job pulling together the applications. I'd also like to thank the funding bodies for investing in our projects, which have helped strengthen the communities we serve. In addition, during 2018, we invested more than $400,000 on capital items across Siri's core operations to improve outcomes for our clients and communities. The expenditure included a refresh of IT equipment for our students and the purchase of new school buses. These are terrific examples of how we are reinvesting our profits to make a positive difference to the lives of others. 
We are excited about our future, underpinned by continued grant activity and capital expenditure, and exploring newer avenues of funding, such as opportunities within the philanthropic sector. With Siri continuing to spread its footprint and expand its services and training into new community groups, the redevelopment of our website was timely. With the aim of making it easy for any member of the community to explore what great things we've got to offer, the new website's been designed with that absolutely in mind. The marketing team have created a strong professional design that really showcases the range and variety in Siri services. And they've done that by making the navigation simple and clear around the website, enhancing our credibility and expertise through great content, great imagery, and testimonials from those that have really enjoyed what we do. It's mobile friendly and tablet friendly. It's the go-to place to launch into our social media and blogs for us to share our stories far and wide. It also provides for email subscriptions and online inquiries in order to encourage all visitors to leave their details and to get more information about absolutely anything we've got to offer. It allows visitors to provide us feedback on our website so we can continue to get better. And we've got a far more improved search function so that you can find what you're looking for fast. If we're not working hard for our children and students, we're working hard for our people. This year, we selected a learning management system called Loop that will allow us to deliver mandatory training and induction to all employees quickly and efficiently. It's fun, really easy to use and highly interactive. So we can't wait to make it available to everyone. The people and capability team are in the process of preparing our child safe refresher training to be rolled out with induction for new employees to follow soon after. Loop will ensure that everyone gets essential training delivered and recorded efficiently. We're delivering a whole raft of other professional development courses that our people or their manager identify during the normal course of performance conversations that support everyone to be successful at Siri. Our maintenance crew were very involved in some major projects like the refurbishment of our Mount Evelyn Childcare Centre during the year, the school at Yarra Junction that had a makeover in one of its buildings, and also playing a key role in getting our new office building in Lilydale ready, which we moved into on February 25. Our children, students, employees and visitors have been able to experience refreshed spaces that promote and enhance what we're absolutely committed to refreshing, environmentally friendly, and safe play and workspaces that encourage learning, friendship, productivity, and enjoyment for everyone. I'm so proud of our tireless corporate services team that have made such a significant impact in helping create fantastic spaces, as well as achieving great outcomes for our entire operation at Siri. This is really what drives us to do a fantastic job. Hi, my name is Paul Van Bruegel. I'm the new principal at Siri Community School and joined the school this year because of the great work that's been happening here in previous years and the values of Siri as a community organisation. Through 2018, the enrolments at the school grew to above 130 and we saw the addition of a second year nine class in the middle of the year. As part of that, we've been developing the junior program and we've been focusing on increasing the wellbeing supports that are available to students, both within the school and through professionals coming into the school. At the same time, we've been continuing the Great VCAL program that's been running for quite a while and developing that further to provide genuine applied learning for our students. What I really liked about this school is that they help you with your mental health and not only care about your grades. So they care about what you do, what you want to do when you grow up and do different kinds of levels of your work instead of all doing the same things at the same time. And that's what I really like about this school, is that it's not at the same level and that everyone cares about you. Our students are involved in a wide range of activities in the school and across the community. A few highlights are the junior program where students have visited ECOS, the school camps that are run, including to locations such as Wilson's Promontory, the Gender Equity Ambassadors Project, where our young people have given feedback to teachers about how they would like to be taught the ideas of gender equity, and that's helped students find their voice within the community. Surrey really encourages you to follow your passion projects and they have a whole bunch of programs such as gym, swimming, and a whole bunch more. I chose music and I do podcast, which is also rather fun. It 
helps us with communication skills. Surrey doesn't really force you like normal schools to do things, they encourage you to do things and it makes you want to do it a lot more and I feel like that's a better way of doing things. We've also established a canteen program at Yarra Junction where our Year 9 students have prepared and served food to other students as part of their learning program. It's just fun. I really love cooking and seeing how people enjoy eating the food. I was the first Year 7 to attend this school actually. I'm year nine now. At the start of this year, I was a, I'm just gonna say, I'm, I was a troublemaker. This school has done so much for me, but now nah, this school is awesome. I recommend anyone to come to the school. But yeah, I love this school. The staff explain the work really well, and if you have some trouble, you can always ask, and they'll like go through it step by step with you. They focus more on the independent work, I guess, more independent students and give you the help you need and yeah, just focus more on you. And egg and bacon rolls on Friday, there we go. Yeah, egg and bacon rolls. Looking ahead to the future, we're targeting growth and looking to have up to 150 students for 2019 and we're continuing to provide the supportive environment that we already do and to nurture the growth and development of our students. Berry Street, Victoria, we're really proud of our association with Siri. We've supported this staff throughout a few years now in our work in the Berry Street education model. And through our practice and research and strategies, our aim is to help the young people at Siri develop uh, skills and strategies like de-escalation, self-regulation, knowing what their strengths are and using those strengths for pathways. Working with Gus and the team here at the school campus has been a privilege because we know they're doing incredibly important work, connecting kids who have perhaps nowhere else to go to do what they need to do to learn, to create, and to chart a path for their own future. The average teenager today experiences the same level of anxiety as the average psychiatric patient in the early 1950s. To best support young people in schools, we need to develop strategies that support their mental health as well as educational needs. In 2018, Siri developed a unique approach that empowered teachers to best respond to their students' social and emotional needs. Students had one-on-one -on -one interviews with a mental health professional, teachers completed observation reports, and from these we developed classroom strategy plans. Additionally, we looked at how can we best support the teacher's well-being and we implemented a teacher supervision and coaching program. The program provided teachers with an opportunity to develop strategies in the classroom, discuss barriers they may have been facing and focus on individual student needs in a confidential and safe environment. Having worked with the staff and the leadership team at Siri, I've been nothing but impressed with their level of professionalism and their absolute devotion to the young people in their care and the incredible progress that these students are making over such a short period of time. Education and training continued to provide vet courses for our community school. We also began delivering kitchen operations out of the Trade Training Centre kitchen at Upper Yarra Secondary College, providing training to students of the Yarra Valley Vet Cluster. Siri training provides applied learning through all our programs. Our community garden provides a wonderful learning space and much satisfaction to both our school and RTO students. The Garden won an award for the most improved learning space in 2018. We start off every class with a toolbox meeting, just where the kids identify the potential risks and hazards around the sites. Um, we talk about tools and equipment that we'll need for the day and the kids really enjoy it. I'm a Siri student and this is the Siri Garden that I've prepared for everyone. My favourite things to enjoy doing in the garden, I like shoveling and I like um, designing and stuff, like landscaping and stuff. The flower and maybe some are growing the vegetables from with the shovel and putting the seeds in. So I, my, most of the ideas here I've came up with myself. 
Both our community garden and our kitchen operations programs featured in Vasily's magazine. When Gus first invited me to present at their AGM, I was overwhelmed to see what they offer for the wider community, young and old, helping them develop a better lifestyle. And it was the cooking and the recipes that I saw that I was excited about. And so I invited them to be a part of our magazine. They accepted, I was overwhelmed, and now we're enjoying their recipes in their magazine. It's gonna grow, it's gonna get into our TV show as well. So soon you'll be seeing Siri presenting on our show, little cooking segments, which will be a spin-off, or the magazine will be a spin-off of, of the TV show. So look out for it, it's a great future, and we can't wait to grow bigger and better together. Our Study Mums program supported mums to start their own businesses and our Reconnect clients to undertake an accredited program. Accredited qualifications were delivered from both Mount Evelyn and Yarra Junction, with 85% of graduates securing a job by the completion of their course. Individual support includes learning and simulations in our purpose-built simulation room. Certificate 4 in Education Support is being delivered at the Mount Evelyn Primary School, where students apply their learning in the classrooms at Mount Evelyn. The Cert 3 in Individual Support covers employment like aged care, home and community care and working also with people with disabilities. Hands-on activity is a great way for students to learn and Siri embraces that. An example of that is our simulation room where the students get to practice not only as the client but also as the carer. One of the highlights for me is seeing the students move into a career that is very rewarding. I had a lot of fun doing the course with Siri last year and in completing the course I've managed to get full-time work and I really love it. It's a way to go. So with VCAL it is maybe 10 students per one staff member so you have that one-on-one -on -one. you have a counsellor right there that's there three to four days a week and you have different services that come visit and you can go out into the community and visit and it was really enlightening it was nice to get to know your own community a year later i graduated year 12 and i then proceeded to go on and do a Cert 3 with Siri and then another year later I was offered a full-time position with the childcare in Mount Avalon with Siri. Family and Children's Services had an exciting and productive 2018. Some of our many achievements include our community dinners, teddy bears picnic and our occasional care project. Our community dinners are an initiative in partnership with Yarra Rangers Council. We received a grant to provide dinners and activities for families with children under 14 years to come together and enjoy a night out playing with their children. They have been a huge success with activities such as board games, sports and Christmas crafts for our Christmas in July. The community dinners have been a great way to bring families and children together. We have tried to give children and families the lead in planning these and future events, while at the same time making them sustainable and fun. It has been a great success with the number of people enjoying the shared meal, jumping from 12 to more than 30 attending each one. We've had more than 150 people attend the community dinners since its inception in 2018. We were also fortunate to receive a funding grant to examine the needs of occasional care in the Yarra Ranges. We employed a project worker to examine the barriers for families to access children's services. This project also focused on looking at the needs of our community in relation to childcare and in particular occasional care. It has been fantastic to have this opportunity to give the community a voice. This provides us with evidence-based data to align our services to the needs of the community. The Occasional Care Project aims to understand the care needs of families with young children in the Yarra Ranges, particularly in relation to occasional care. To do this, we set about surveying our current families whilst also engaging with local parents at community events, playgroups, preschools, libraries and the like. Key service providers were also interviewed to learn from their experience of the community needs. For the families already using occasional care, there was an overwhelmingly positive response to the service. 
It was especially encouraging to find that all of our respondents gave our staff 10 out of 10 rating for their skills and experience. The broader community has told us that having trusting relationships with any service is very important to them. A personal recommendation is often the key ingredient in choosing a service for their child. Families who do not use the service are most often concerned about the cost of using childcare and many would like to know more about how government childcare subsidies work. On the subject of occasional care itself, over 80% of the families we spoke to told us they would like to use an occasional care service. However, over half of these families had not known about our service before being surveyed. We really value the time and effort given by families and service providers to help us understand their needs and we thank them most sincerely. Siri is looking forward to bringing all the feedback together and finalising a plan to make occasional care as accessible as we can to our community. We like to use the occasional care services for the flexibility, the long hours that they have on offer. The kids have heaps of fun here, the staff are very friendly, warm and inviting and yeah, just a great place to come to. 2019 looks to be a great year with many exciting things happening across family and children's services. The language program, our playground upgrade, our new kindergarten and occasional care at Churnside Park Community Hub, just to name a few. Siri was given the opportunity to partner with the Yarra Rangers Council to host the Teddy Bears Picnic. This event runs every year in October as part of Children's Week. It is a major event in the community, bringing many local organisations together to celebrate children. 2018 was no exception with an attendance of more than 200 people. There were activities including face painting, badge making, music, beading, Kofi's drumming and many more. One of the great things about this occasion is the way that many parts of Siri work together to create such an amazing event for the community. Emily Jennings and Yarra Rangers Council all provided incredible support and assistance and we are extremely grateful to them. We all look forward to the 2019 Teddy Bears Picnic. Twenty eighteen 2018 was a year of transition for Siri Community Hub. We ran programs in areas such as art, parenting, writing and social engagement. Our big successes included running botanical illustrations with artist Bronwyn Ward, writing and publishing workshops with published author Lindy Schneider, our popular social craft group Craft Junction, and winter warmers, our community lunches over winter. While we piloted new programs, we were also planning for the expansion of the Yarra Junction Community Hub in 2019, with the goal of using our location as a dedicated community hub space. An exciting development in late 2018 was the partnership with the Yarra Rangers Council to run Churnside Park Community Hub. In 2019, we are really looking forward to expanding the courses and programs which we deliver over two locations, Yarra Junction and Churnside Park and watching the hubs grow into the future. Relationships are important in not only our day-to-day -day business, but also our lives. And I am a firm believer that respect and trust needs to be earned. I would like to especially thank and pay tribute to the Yarra Rangers Council, who have not only been an enormous support to Siri, but an organisation that believes and is passionate about providing the best possible service to their clients. 2019 is about consolidation and enhancement of all of our services. We have been given extraordinary opportunities to work even closer with our communities and wouldn't be here without the support of our people, volunteers, clients and partners. For this I am very grateful and look forward to what will be an amazing year. A huge thank you to all.